Hello there, Leo, and welcome back to another reading with me, Soulful. Uh, my name is actually Kendra. <laughs> For those of you who want to know, my name is actually Kendra. That's with an I. All right, Leo, I want to say first off, thank you. I woke up this morning and saw that I had 5K subs. Um, it's actually over 5K now. It's like 5,015 or something. So I just want to say thanks to all of you. Um, my fire signs are usually my top viewed um, videos. And Leo, I get a lot of views from you guys and I really appreciate you. I, I, I really do. I want you to know that. Okay. So here's to the 5K. Thank you so much. All right, Leo. Let's get your daily reading today. All information is down below in the description box. That includes extended for purchase, my Patreon, and also if you would like to book a personal with me. Those are open right now. You'll see all the links for that down below. I do recommend personals for those of you that want more of a uh, your energy to be picked up on in my readings as opposed to just... A general reading because a general reading is not going to resonate with every single person. You may even find bits and pieces that resonate with you and some that don't. Okay, Leo, what do you need to hear this week? In life and love, what is happening for our beautiful Leos? Also, cross watchers, you're always welcome here on my channel. I want you to know that. Okay, let's see. What do we have? What do we have? Okay, Ten of Swords in the reverse. Leo, what's going on here? Empress in the reverse. And lovers in the reverse. All right, my beautiful Leos, tough week for you guys. Tough week. I feel what's happening here. We also have the fool in reverse on the bottom of the deck. We have earth energy. We also have Gemini and Aries energy here. Um, Leo, I feel like you guys are having a hard time letting go of something here that has been hurting you big time. You may feel betrayed, um, may feel like you just can't get rid of whatever has been hurting you. With the Empress card in reverse, I think that you guys may need to take some care, a better care of yourself this week. There may be a need to go within yourself and realize what it is here that you want and love because I think that maybe there was a situation either where someone did not choose you and or there's a relationship that is either breaking down something is needing reassessment here and you may need to take a break I'm seeing with the empress here you may feel like a situation is not being nurtured it's not growing the way that you would like it to grow okay and it's definitely around love for sure some of you guys, this could be a friend I'm hearing that uh, you had a falling out with as well. So let's take a look here at the Ten of Swords. There is love here. I'm feeling that, but hmm, your mindset, Leo, this week. So tell me about the Ten of Swords. Tell me about the Ten of Swords. Okay, Page of Wands in the reverse. More fire energy here. King of Swords. So in reverse. So I feel like you guys are really trying here to not communicate, okay? Or someone is not communicating with you about how you feel. You may also think here with the Page of Wands that like <clears throat> the passion, the passion that you have, it's, it's like you don't, you're not getting a chance to express it is what I'm hearing. And I also feel this is caught. There's just a lot of repression going on here, Leo. Like you, some, somebody here is really repressing, talking about what's going on internally inside them. Okay. You may feel like blocking people out. It's okay to talk. It's okay to talk, Leo, about whatever's going on inside you. I feel like you guys may also be holding back something you want to say to someone. Or you want to give someone an offer here. You want to start something new, something passionate, something like you feel really good about, but you're not letting yourself. So let's, let's take a look at this Empress energy. Tell me about the Empress energy. Ace of Wands in reverse. 
Yeah, there's a there's there may be a, a false start here or something that did not go as planned, okay? And the devil in reverse. Wow. Okay. So with the lovers in reverse and the devil in reverse, we are definitely uh, trying to release something, trying to let go of it this week. You could feel as though with the Ace of Wands in reverse, you just don't want to put any more energy in. And that is very important because with the Empress in reverse here, I think that maybe you guys really just want to put that energy back into yourselves and release any kind of toxic thoughts or things that have been going around, going in circles in your mind, emotions that have been going in circles in your mind about something that has been bothering you. With the King of Swords energy, you could be dealing with an air sign here that is causing you pain, okay? They may they may be icing you out or making you feel as though they're putting you on the back burner. I'm also hearing for some of you guys and not allowing things to unfold. Um... I'm hearing that some of you guys may have been rejected, okay, this week or you may be dealing with that in the middle of the week because someone decided not to make a choice here. And you may be really trying to release how you feel about how the situation did not grow and the way you thought it could have. So tell me about the lovers. I feel like there was a lot of expectations, a lot of expectations on someone here. Ace of Cups, wow. Wow, wow, wow. One more, please. The Hangman. So I feel like there, like I said, do you remember what I said earlier? There is love here. There's definitely love here between you and another person. And you have a lot of emotion for someone. You guys may feel like you can't express here with the hangman in reverse how it is that you feel about someone. And this could be why they're not making a choice for you. Or you have a lot of love. You want it to give you want to give it to someone, but you're stuck with it. I feel like maybe you you're kind of stuck between a rock and a hard place here. This is what I'm hearing. And you're not sure what to do. You're not sure what to do. You wish that someone would make a choice, but all right. So we have here the wheel of fortune in reverse is your challenge. So are you resisting, you know? Are you resisting a flow in your life? Is there something that needs to be done? To turn the page here. Let's see what we have. We've got three swords underneath this Wheel of Fortune reverse. You guys may be feeling some pain, like heartbreak this week, or feeling as though, again, with that Ten of Swords, it's all about expectations, or I don't know why I keep hearing that, or our perspective even about this situation. There could be some kind of unhealthy dynamic going on here with the Ace of Wands and the Devil and the Empress in reverse with this person. It could be like, um, it could be some kind of unhealthy passion that I'm hearing that is going on and the love is not like something needs to be healed between both of you before anything can actually progress. High Priestess in reverse, Water Energy and the Tower in reverse. Somebody is keeping a secret to prevent disaster. That's definitely what I'm hearing. But it's inevitable. Okay, I definitely feel like someone is in pain here. It could be your person um, because they're trying to prevent a disaster. That's why they have not chose you. It's quite possible here or chose a love situation or chose to be your friend or whatever it is. While there is love here and a possibility of a new start, it's leaving you hanging. Okay, don't stay stuck, right? Don't stay stuck, Leo. Like you can you can get out of this situation if you accept and allow, right? I think that there's a big problem here where there's an unhealthy dynamic. Maybe you're holding back a bunch of passion that you have for this person because passion and emotion, the, I said this in a reading yesterday, I think it was, uh, passion and emotion, they're two very different things, right? Two very different cards. Passion is basically like flirting, um, you know, extending your, your fiery energy through physical touch and, you know, just exploring creative aspects of how something can work out in reality and even non-reality. But the Ace of Cups is emotion, right? This is about connecting on the heart level and less on the passionate level. So I feel like what's happening here is that there may have been a lot of passion that's kind of dying out here for a situation where someone is not making a choice and all that's left now is the love. All that's left is the emotion and you don't know what to do with it. 
Okay. All right. So let's see what your person would say. Oh, first off, these are the signs we have on the board. I keep forgetting to do this. We have an earth sign, um, Taurus, possible Capricorn. We have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We have Gemini. We have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. We have all the signs here. Okay, what would they say to you? What would your person say to you right now? What would your person say to you right now? You're deep within my heart and I want to understand our connection. Yeah, someone is struggling with this connection just the same, okay? I feel like they have love for you as well and both of you are just, like, it's stuck. Like, it's stuck, especially with that Wheel of Fortune. So, let's see what else they would say. Three cards, what would your person state, say to you right now? I feel as though we are able to balance one another. So there's something about the connection here, Leo. Something about it. You guys um, may have a way of balancing each other out. And that's why there is this Ace of Cups energy here. There could be something between you and them. But what's happening is in the material realm is like, I feel there's a missed opportunity here. And someone's afraid it's going to get away from them. Something also has to be let go of, I'm hearing. Confusion. Yep, there it is. They can't make a choice, okay? They're stuck. They're stuck. This person is stuck on what to do with this cup of love, and so are you. I feel like both of you guys are, are stuck on this. All right, let's pull some Romance Angels. Turn the page is what I'm hearing. We've got to turn the page with that Wheel of Fortune as your challenge. Leo, reconciliation. So... Maybe you're separated because of this Ace of Wands in reverse from this person and you want to get back together with them and they don't know what to do just yet. Then we have passion. There it is. Someone still has passion despite it. Okay, there's been a lot of passion between you and this person, like tons of it. And then we have let go of control issues. So... I feel with the devil card here and the um, king of swords, maybe you guys are holding back how you feel or holding back communicating. And this is causing an internal suffering with that ten of swords energy. You may be causing your own suffering a little bit here, Leo, and not communicating the fact that you do still care and have great passion like you have had passion for this person. And you're trying to release them, I feel, with the devil card. You're trying to release toxic energy. It's like... It's like when you have a fire inside you, right? Say so you have a fire and with this page of wands energy, you got to you got to put it out there, but I feel like you guys have had to stifle it for some reason, maybe because this person has not made the choice to be with you or they're stuck themselves and confused about what to do. So you have this fire inside you that you can't express with the ace of wands in reverse. So you've got to take on this king of swords, cold ass energy so that you don't put it out there. Okay. So this is kind of what I'm feeling was happening right now. Let's get you guys some Moonology, and then you can join me down below for the extended. We're going to take a look at how your person feels about you and what's going on with this confusion, okay? What advice do we have for our Leos? We have, don't let your past hold you back. I'm actually going to pull one more. Maybe in the past, you, you have been this way, you know, in a cycle of pain for quite some time. And you're wanting to move forward out of that with the devil card. And then we have look at the bigger picture, Sagittarius energy. So some of you guys are stuck in this energy, like with this Wheel of Fortune card in the present moment. You're stuck in heartache, okay? And you may even be isolating yourself a little bit. Um, so you may need to turn the page. Like look larger. Look, where do you see yourself in one year, five years? Do you... What what could possibly happen? How there's there's endless possibilities in our world when it comes to choices that you could make. So maybe there's something else that you're missing here. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and hop on over to the extended. I hope to see you guys there and we'll take a look at, at your person more. Okay. Bye.